Okay, let's get back into the caverns. Um, we had a really lucky streak last game. We explored all of level 4 and found a lair, as I recall. Went into that lair um, and explored that entire lair, at the end of which we found a tunnel that led to another place of level 4. Explored that whole map and on that map found a lair. Went into that lair on level 4, explored that whole lair and then from that layer found a tunnel or something like that, or maybe it was reversed. Maybe we're, maybe we're in a tunnel or a layer now. Let's load it and find out. But, um, whoops, that's the wrong thing. Um, but it was an uncannily lucky uh, situation. Now, just so you know, in case you're uh, wondering about the game, it's not purely random of just, you know, do, it, does this exist on a given level. In terms of exits off the level, the game keeps track behind the scenes when a given, like, if a layer occurs, it then bumps it way down on a list to make it much less likely another layer will occur in the next level. Not impossible, it's never impossible. But at every progressive level that goes by without a layer, the chance of you encountering a layer goes up. Um, so to find them back to back like that was an extreme bit of luck. You wouldn't usually find them that frequently. Obviously it can happen. But yeah, just to just be clear, it's not purely random chance. There's a, there's a mitigating um, count going on to make sure that it's not too common for you. I don't know where we are. Are we in a lair now? Let's find out. We're still on level 4, I think. We're on level 4. We're in the rat nesting ground. That's right, so we ended up in a lair. So it should be nothing but giant rats here. Wending crooked tunnels. In addition to the extra gold common to all layers, this layer usually contains extra garbage heaps, including dedicated garba. Garba. That's gotta be fixed, guys. Little... Little typo. I, I did fix that error, whatever error we encountered in the last uh, run. I don't remember what it was. Some little typo with pheasant meat. I fixed that. Let's fix this. Um, query rat nesting ground. Second last line. Garba. I should say uh, garbage dump regions and extra trinkets. Just gonna bump that word garbage down to the next level. Um, something else I just realized, we've been doing really stupid. Although we've been really lucky, we have not been smart. Um, we do have the nose for gold. We can use this once per level. It just puts out 0 to 3 silver, gold, gems, or qu chest squares randomly on the map and shows me where those are. We should do that at the start of every level. It's just free treasure. And we missed it for like 4 levels running. There was no none in this case. Nothing here. Nothing extra. Let's see what the scroll merchant has to offer. Shall we? Actually, let's check this uh, weapon rack. A cleaver! And a pungent main gauche of weakening. And another cleaver. Let's take a look at them. The cleaver! As a minus 12 to hit, does 1 to 9 damage. This one's in better condition. Uh, the pungent main gauche of weakening has no bonus to hit, does 1 to 10 damage. It's only at 4% condition, so we're not going to pick it up. But if it was working well, if we could keep it going, um, it lowers the enemy's defense by 5 with every hit because it's acidic. And it lowers the enemy's max damage by one with every hit, not below one. That'd be an amazing little fucking weapon, wouldn't it? For now, do we want any of this? Let's get rid of the uh, glowing heavy stick of slamming. It was awesome, but it's broken. Take the two cleavers. Not sure what how. Oh. I was wondering what the hell happened. Why did my sight sh something change? It's because there was smoke here, and the smoke uh, dissipated, so something I could see through there. Okay. I thought there was an error for a second. Who needs scrolls? I need scrolls. A uh, new face is welcome to eyes accustomed only to darkness. It's a documented fact that scrolls are the best use for paper. Don't defy science. Buy a scroll. Um, detect secret doors scroll. Each of these can only be used once. Because we're buying them, we know for sure they're not cursed. This is actually the effect they'll have. Um, if you have runic lore skill when you find scrolls, by the way, you can um, determine what they are, rather than uh, us just being like, I don't know what this is. Automatically detect any concealed or secret doors and compartments within one square for the next 361 turns. Not bad for one gold piece. Berserk uh, would increase my weapon damage by 50% for 30 turns. Control Diabolic gives a 50% chance of charming any diabolic monster in my square. Uh, basically, it would... It would convert to my side and it would go seek out um, enemies to kill. Won't work on golems or on Zaskazian. Invisible Hammer Scroll does 8 to 15 physical damage to the monster we're fighting. <clears throat> All of it's pretty good, but I don't know if I need it right now, given we're uh, pretty stuffed to the gills with cool shit. 
not going to take any of it right now. Let's go see what's in this, uh... Oh, there's a sleeping rat. Let's go get him before he wakes up. Because he's asleep, we will actually automatically hit him. It's 100% chance to hit him. And, uh, we'll do max damage. So let's make sure we're using a cleaver. We are. So we'll hit him for 9 damage, possibly plus strength damage. It'll automatically kill him as long as he's going to wake up. There we go. Got him. Um, if he had woken up first, he'd been awake. Or if, if we hadn't killed him, it would have instantly woken him up as well. I wonder if it should say 100% chance to hit. Uh, let's just note this as a possible thing to fix. Query sleeping monster... Mon... Odds plus damn question mark? Should it should it affect that? It probably should. I don't know if I'll do that for the next update, because that might take some doing. And I'm feeling kind of lazy. Let's go check what's in this uh, mysterious cupboard. A sleep spell book. A low power scroll and a light healing spell. We already have a light healing, of course. Sleep would give... Uh, it's a 20... costs us 20 spell points. It's a low power charm. Has a 50% chance of putting the monster we're fighting to sleep for 30 turns, at which point we can then, of course, hit it automatically for... 100% damage. I think I'd probably more often... Well... Let's learn it. That's a pretty... That's, that could be useful. Let's drop the sack of shiny rocks for one second here. Pick up the spellbook sleep. Learn the spellbook sleep. Pick up the sack of shiny rocks. Go on over here. This is, oh, we know there's a grave. We're not going to mess with that. Um, this is a riddle, an easy riddle in this case. The first time you enter the square, you are asked a riddle, which you have a percent chance of answering equal to your intelligence or 90, whichever is less. And if we answer it, we'll get a gift. <clears throat> we succeed. Got a confusion spellbook. Um, let's, let's, let's learn that as well. Likewise, it will have application... So this has a 50% chance of permanently confusing the monster in our square. Same as a uh, same cost as a sleep spell, also a low power charm. Um, a confused monster will permanently uh, just wander around randomly. It won't look for us to kill us. Um, if it does bump into us, it'll still fight. Um, so the sleep spell might be useful for killing something. If, if we know if we can knock it to sleep and then we can kill it quickly, um, might be worth it. Uh, if it looks like it's a tougher monster that we don't have any chance of really killing and. Uh, when we knock it out with a sleep spell, then we can use the um, confusion spell and just get away from it, you know? If you met something particularly powerful. Only a 50 50 chance of working, though. Tortoise shell, how's ours doing? Did I, I left the sack of shiny rocks behind. Let's equip this one, let's drop the old one. Let's reorganize. Let's get the sack of shiny rocks that I dropped here. It's good money, I don't want to leave it behind right now. Mage armor wore off, I forgot I had it. That's right, because we prayed to the last Staviar come that last level at his shrine, wasting a bit of our um, incense of meditation. Let's see, there shouldn't be anything on this level, but let's, uh, let's use our ability anyway. No aberrations. Another tortoise shell. Is it better or worse than the one we got, just so I know? 86%. Ours is... It's better than the one we have. Let's use the one we're using for now, so that when we leave the level, we come back and get it and have a better a shell when we're leaving, right? Unknown potion. Leveled up! Got all our usual shit, and a new racial perk. Keen smell. This perk makes all non-invisible monsters within two squares visible to you, even if something obstructs your line of sight. So we can even smell things through walls. <clears throat> Pardon me. I think we're gonna go for intelligence. Get that up there. Um... We can't do anything here, of course. We only have one skill point. But we could put it into, say, alchemy and better learn what potions are. Runic lore, better learn what scrolls are. Low power scrolls. Wand lore, we do have that frost wand. Let's actually learn that. Now we have a 50% chance of success when we use our wand. And on top of that, every time we go to a new map, it will recharge one charge. Killed it. It's a fairly inhospitable level, isn't it? This is a giant rat master psionic, so it has a 1 in 3 chance of casting low power spells. It does have 60 spell points. Let's try and kill it quick. Let's go ahead and use our Wand of Frost Breath. Did 2 damage to it. Let's do it again. And 3 damage and killed it. 
found a tome entitled Projectiles, of course. Volume 2. Um, would teach us archery skill to the advanced level if we already knew it to the basic level. Let's, let's grab that because we might well learn archery skill. Let's uh, drop our sickle of constraint, which is getting pretty damaged. So we can carry this. Quarterstaff, man. Quarterstaff's a pretty good weapon. Requires 20 strength. We have it. It would give us plus 11 to hit and do 1 to 5 damage. Instead of minus 12 to hit 1 to 9 damage. But it would use two hands, which means we couldn't use our tortoise shell anymore. Let's stick with what we got for now. This is going to suck. We're going to walk through the smoke to try and get that object. Held our breath. In the smoke, we have a 50% chance of holding our breath. Otherwise, we're going to take damage equal to 5% of our max health. It also, when you're fighting in smoke, everybody has half chances to hit. And you can't see through smoke or even out of smoke when you're standing in it. Don't need a paper hat. Joking. Fuck. A poison spiked pit trap. 15 damage. I'm poisoned. Let's, let's, um... We don't have that cure spell anymore. We don't have a curative potion. We do have our goddess, though. Let's pray to her for purity. This miracle will remove all effects of poison from you. Use this only 10 faith points. Thank you, Sensum V. Let's climb out of this pit. Let's grab this gold. See what this is. Robe with decorative trim. Another three three slot um, trinket. But we're not going to carry it. It's too much to carry. Um, but it would be um, in place of our sack of shining rock saves. Only worth 150, though. We got a couple of options here, guys. I wouldn't mind continuing to explore this level, but as you can see, there's this giant river of lava dividing our half from the other half, and the stairs are on the other side. We still have ten spell points easily. Let's use our descend spell so we don't have to worry about that fucking... Or we could, uh... could use extinguish. Could carve a path. Maybe that's a better way that we can keep exploring. Let's try that instead. Where are we going to do it? Spell points. All right. Extinguish spell for the win. Now we're on the other side of the lava. Twelve fourteen. Don't need wicker shields. Worse than a tortoise shell. These guys can cause a uh, tsunami fever, which would have our dexterity if they hit us. By the way permanently until we get rid of the disease. This guy's running. Only a 5% chance they cause it when they hit us, though. What's on this shelf? Nothing. There's the stairs. We want a way out. The robe with decorative trim. Oh, found a secret compartment. Where's that? Let's, uh, let's not use it yet, because there could be gold in it. We're already carrying gold, right? We're already carrying um, 30. We haven't found the temple yet. It is. Let's go drop off our gold. A bit of garbage. Let's not go near it right now. I don't want to get a disease, nor do I want to get nauseous from the smell. Jet necklace. That's only a one point. Um, a one point uh, trinket. We're 65 gold, but I don't think there's anything I want to uh, drop in favor of it. You're pretty far from... You know, let's drink the tiny health potion. Made our goddess happy. She likes it when we drink health potions. And got 13 health back. Let's carry the jet necklace. Carry that gold. Just drop it off. You can hear another rat down here. Here we go. I don't think we have enough um, faith now to cure our disease if, if we did get... Uh, Tsunami fever, but we do have um, we did. That's another one point trinket. Of course, there's a lot of trinkets on this level, isn't there? It told us that uh, right here, didn't it? Extra trinkets. Um, there is an unknown potion. If you ever get a disease or poison and you're not sure how to cure it, start chugging unknown potions, both restoration potions and uh, which cure disease and curative potions, which get rid of um, poison, are fairly common. 
It's not to say it's not with, it's without risk. It's of course not. What is this? Buttressed wicker, wicker shield. Not bad. We give us only three defense instead of six defense, but plus ten percent physical resistance. Still, something would have to do at least ten points of physical damage to save us one. I'm not going to carry it instead of the tortoise shell. Let's um, let's go back and get the uh, tortoise shell we left behind, which is of course in better condition than what we have. Drop our current tortoise shell. And let's get this one, which is in better shape. Let me just uh, adjust my monitor here a bit, guys. Okay, um, now what? I think we're getting out of here. We only have 24 spell points. That's not enough to cast any of the stuff we want to, like uh, light or anything. Although we do have that... Um, we do have our, our other... We're not we're not using our perks very well out here, are we? Where am I? Let me get off this dude. Let's use our um, best cleanser perk to get light for 120 turns. There was no other way off this level that I saw. Uh, except for the stairs, of course. But rather than take the stairs, as you can see, stairs are fine. But there is a 1% chance. It's not very likely. But a 1% chance the stairs will actually collapse under us when we try and descend them, because they're rotten. And cause us some damage as we go down. Um, so, if you don't have to take the stairs, why not just cast descend? It'll have the same effect. We'll get all our spell points back anyway. Either that or I can use a light healing spell. But no, let's use descend. Since I already cast my light thing here. Oh, smuggler. Here we are in dungeon level 5, finally. Let's go to him. Yes, my sack of shiny rocks for 240, and my jet necklace for 65, thank you, sir. Here's a, uh, a Vestonian shrine. Of course we have a 100% chance to uh, use it, but if we dropped our... Uh, if we dropped for a moment our incense, we don't have a 62% chance, so maybe it's best that we do this. Let's go here and use our incense on this, free up an inventory slot. To pray to Vestonius, the god of creation, our incense is now depleted. He's happy. Oh, he gave a ceremonial hide armor of avarice as a gift. Let's drop our old scraps of agility, which admittedly will give us 10%, 10 dexterity less. Oh, we already have it. Whatever it is. If we throw this on, instead of a defense of 5, this will give us defense 15. It also lowers the experience we need to get to the next level by 3% as long as we're wearing it. It also adds 20 to the value of any gold, silver, or gems we find. Let's definitely wear that. Let's uh, reorganize our stuff. Let's use right away our um, nose for gold. So I don't forget to do it. We sent three treasures. Three chests, gold squares, silver squares, or gem squares have been added to the map. Um, let's also send some purities. Uh, not, no aberrations on this map. I do hear something nearby. It sounds like a weasel. Let's see if we can find it and kill it before it's a smuggler. I don't want to go through that. There's a lot of gold dropped off. I think it burrow through walls. It's its big ability. Alright. Uh, but not iron walls. Remember we saw those. A new class perk, Protective Coating. This perk grants you 15% acid resistance. Not bad. As a, uh, as a purifier. You know what? Let's get our dexterity back to 90. You know what I'm going to take? I think right now. Even though I wouldn't mind more Wandlore skill. Maybe I'll do that first. Get our Wandlore up there so we can uh, now 75% chance of success with our Frost Wand. And we get back 1 to 2. Between 1 and 2 randomly chosen um, charges every time we go to a new level. Don't need that. Drop it for now, but we may end up selling it to the Smuggler if we can't find something else. It's only worth 5 gold pieces, though. Featherfall. Could be useful. Lowers all falling damage we take for for the next 61 turns to zero, sure. If you see, you know, you have to cross a pit, if you have to leap across a pit, you can cast that first, make sure it doesn't hurt you when you fall in. Or you can, uh, if you have to, like, deal with a chasm or something, it could be useful. We're gonna get our strength up now. Between our uh, armor of avarice and our uh, scavenging skill, we're gonna find tons of treasure. This guy probably already burned out this wall, that's probably why there's rubble there. Um, rubble has a 50, you have a 50% chance of answer, entering rubble if you're not flying, by the way. Uh, what did I want to look up? Oh. Uh, the, the Hide Armor of Avarice actually has a, a slightly better, in some ways, than the, um, than the scavenging ability, though, because it also works on silver. Uh, and gems. Um, my scavenging skill only works on gold. 
Oh, fuck. Let's go get this guy before he kills that scout. That was a mistake. Uh, that was close. I right, got him. Guy could have destroyed one of our spells, don't forget. Kind of dangerous. Do we have lockpicking? Let's try and lockpick the lock here. No, we jammed it. We'll come back later, maybe. I don't want to break that unless I have to. I hear another uh, dark elf out there. This is mud. We've seen mud before. Unlike rubble, which, you know, I have 50% chance of entering. Mud has different depths. The deeper it is, the harder it is to exit. Kind of like a, uh, well, kind of like a web. Um, but it's not as hard to exit as web is. Uh, that said, if you leave mud, it doesn't destroy the mud. If you leave a web, it destroys the web. Um, mud sometimes has things that live exclusively in it, like this four-armed swamp freak. Uh, he is mud confined, which means he cannot leave that square. But he's not hard for us to kill, so let's go kill him. This could have been quicksand, of course. That would have been dangerous, so maybe it wasn't the brightest move, but whatever, he's dead. Bunch of alcohol here. We'll look at that later. This is a barricaded door, kind of like a locked door, except you don't have the option of lock picking. You can only bash it down. In this case, not a door we have to deal with, though. Let's go drop our money off. The gemmed wall, we can try and mine that out, but we have zero mining skill, and we're probably not ever going to get mining skill unless we get lucky with a trainer or a, a book. Likewise, we need mining skill to get through this well. Uh, we may have to try. We'll see. We'll see if we can get around it. This is just a uh, fractured wall. If you successfully mine it, it just removes it and puts rubble there, so you can go through the wall, essentially. If you fail, it also puts rubble there, but it will uh, collapse on top of you, and you'll take damage as if you were in a cave-in. If we want to get beyond, we're going to have to do that. Not yet, though. Found 57 gold in there. What's here? Oh, wooden buckler. It's better than our uh, tortoise shell. We need 30 strength to use it, but let's use it. Base defense 9 instead of base defense 6. Unknown potion, sure. Low power squirrel, sure. Web spellbook, uh, I'm never going to use that. Probably. Only because we already have... We have both the sleep spell, we have the confusion spell, we have the inscribed ward spell. We have all kinds of spells that are meant to deter pursuit. That's what the web spell is for. It's very, very cheap. As you can see here, it uh, only casts one spell point, for God's sakes. And if we cast it, say, here, in a 3x3 three three pattern, this would all become like heavy web, or really thick web. And even if there's a monster standing there, it would be caught in the web and we'd have to get out of it before it could come after us. But, um, you know, as we progress deeper, it's going to become much less useful because monsters of uh, you know more power can just break it easily. Our inscribed ward spell is probably more suitable. It's not going to be worth much to sell either. It's not literally valueless. He won't even pay me for it. Let's go ahead and try and repair something here. You looking to sell something? Like our high down. Oh, success. Let's try it again. You looking to sell something? Ooh, we did it again. Let's try our uh, wooden buckler. No. Alright, let's uh drop our money off. You looking to sell something? Let's go get this money. Drop it off. Now we're going to risk this. It's probably going to suck. Yep, cave in. We took 8 damage, we lost our map, but we've gained access to the other side. If you had mining skill, obviously, better chance of that not happening. <laughs> Is there anything worthwhile over here? There's a polyballista, it looks like. Or a ballista, pardon me. Could shoot that at a monster if there's one to shoot it at. Cause a lot of damage. There's nothing on the other side here, so there's some cooking fire, so it was kind of useless. Oh, well. Not gonna search the dead body again. I'm sorry you're not getting a chance to see that stuff in action, but um, it'll make sense and be mad, and I really want her on my side. If you're playing an evil character, or if you're, you know, a, a character who worships an evil god, or a character who worships a neutral god, or a character who worships no god, then loot them to your heart's content. Although there is a risk, of course, that it uh, causes a disease, or that it, um, or that it rises as an undead. You know, there's, there's. No, let's go. Let's go see what these liquor barrels are. Oh, Grog. That's exactly what I wanted. Grog's kind of neat liquor. You drink it, it puts you to sleep for a while. You see, we're going to be asleep for 30 turns, but we gained 48 experience. It puts hair in your chest, man. Let's keep drinking this as long as we can until we get kicked off. Now, um, liquor barrels have a finite number of uses. Um, you don't, you know, when it runs out, it runs out. You don't know how many uses it has left until it's out. Um, and you can't tell what's in a liquor barrel, except for by directly drinking Sticking your mouth under the spigot and drinking what comes out. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, but it works in the game context. 
wish I hadn't spent all that time now wandering around this level remapping it. I wish I hadn't gone through that uh, collapsing wall. This is eating up time, of course, putting us closer to the uh, the warning that we have to leave this level. But in the meantime, we're gaining some nice experience. I toy occasionally with adding the uh, disease alcoholism to the game, which would only be sponsored if you drink like too many times on a given level, then maybe it has a chance of happening. In some ways I like it, but it's also a real world, like it's not like fragilitis or white rot or tsunami fever, it's a real world disease that people actually suffer with, and I don't want to, um, I don't love the idea of bringing that into the game, you know, this isn't a, a deep, dark game, it's meant to be fun. So I think I'll probably never do that, but I don't know, if someday you see it show up, know that I've been toying with it for years. Let's get out of here. All right. Um, do we do we sell our stuff to that guy yet? Let's go sell him a bunch of shit. You looking to sell? You looking to sell something? I don't want this unknown potion or this low power scroll. Again. You looking to sell something? I'd be happy to take that. Anything else we can grab quick? That's not worth anything. Something I can take off your hand. I think that's it. Oh no, it's this thing. Scraps of agility, of course, go get that. No power because we have gold. In case we didn't want to drop off our gold. Not gonna be worth much, they're pretty damaged. You looking to, you looking to sell something? And what the hell? Yeah, he's gone. Alright, let's oh kill a tortoise shell too. Let's um do our light. The best cleanser. You know, it's possible there's something, you know, valuable beyond this wall, of course, or like another, a tunnel or a lair or something, who knows, but we're not going to pound into it for now to figure it out. Um, now let's cast Haste. And Feather Fall, what the hell, just to have it in place. Let's cast Light Healing once. And let's cast Descend. Here we go! Down to dungeon level 6, guys. Um, Alright. Booby trap, steam burst trapped. Took 3 damage in the steam there. Oh, there's a trainer around here. Let's kill this giant lizard. No special abilities, just has a pretty good defense and stuff. This guy could cause a tsunami fever. Better than the rat could. 10% chance. Ooh, and he's got good odds of hitting us. Let's, uh, let's wand him. Three damage. Five damage. Three damage. Failed. Killed him. Alright, we gained a skill point. Blah, blah, blah. New racial perk, Low Light Vision. This perk ensures that unless you are blind, your minimum sight range cannot be less than two squares. Um, that'll be useful once we get deeper, um, potentially, although we do have our light, our innate light spell thing. Let's keep putting our intelligence up here. Um, but I'm going to take, I think, Secret Detection. Um, we found a few pit traps the hard way. Let's, uh, let's try not to find them the hard way anymore. This will help us detect secret doors, secret compartments, as well as pit traps and cave-ins. As soon as we're next to them, in the case of pit traps, it's as soon as you try to step in it, you'd be like, oh shit, there's a pit trap there, don't do that, and it'll show you on the map. Um, in the case of other things, as long as you're standing next to it, you might be able to identify it. It won't detect a, a, a standard booby trap, though. That was a magical dog, like he had a, oh, that's a good thing, wand of gold generation. Very nice. Every time we use that, of course, right now, 75% chance of success because of our wand lore skill. Only has four charges at the time being. Every time we use it, we gain 10 to 100 gold pieces if it's successful. That is pretty fucking good. We will not gain extra from uh, scavenging skill or anything from that. That's just a flat extra amount. Potrum Sav, not a bad low power magic item. Um, we'll heal 10 to 30 health. That's pretty good, but every time we use it, there's a 10% chance we instantly die. Now, of course, we have two of these cracked halos, so if it did happen, it would just use one of those. 
keep it on hand in case we need to get back some health fast. Voodoo Doll, another nice magic item. Um, this will cause physical damage equal to my level to the monster I'm fighting every time I use it, but I only use it once per map. Let's get our thing organized here. We know there's a... Oh, fuck. That's probably a... We just took damage when we picked up that gold. It probably means there's a um, a glyph of greed warning somewhere on this map. Where as, soon, as long as we pick up treasure, we're going to get hurt. So let's destroy the glyph before we use it. Let's go see what this trainer's training in. Oh, let's kill this guy first. Shit. Let's try our wand again. Put your money where your brains are. We got him. Earned the hatred of all animals. All such monsters now permanently have to plus twenty to hit us. In case you didn't notice, he's both a goblinoid and an animal. The rattling. You wanna learn, learn basic cold resistance for thirty gold pieces. Sure. That'll give us a twenty-five percent resistance to any cold damage we take, and if we would freeze outside of cold damage, a twenty-five percent chance it doesn't happen. River. Oh, there you are. Secret detection helping us out. Tunnel, baby. That's how we we'll get off this map. God damn it. Didn't detect that one. Hey, spellbook, don't need it. Blur spellbook we could use, though. Let's drop the hey, spellbook. Pick up the blur spellbook. Um, every time we use it, it gives us 15 defense points for 60 turns. We're probably running out of space for these. We've got two more spaces before we got to learn more memory. Spell drain trap kit. Not going to use it. No, not going to use that right now. The spell drain trap kit, if we put it out and a monster stepped on it, it would instantly uh, drain that monster if, if we successfully set the trap. As soon as a monster stepped in it, it would instantly lose all of its spell points. So if you had a spellcaster coming at us, including Zaskazian, you lay that in his path, he steps on it, boom. He has no more spells, which is one of his principal threats. Nothing in the meat locker. There's a lever here. We don't know what it does yet. Let's not pull it until we have a better idea what it might do. A deeply slumbering dragon's horde. We'd have a 90% chance to sneak past this dude and find a ton of treasure. Let's not do it yet. Let's do it when we're getting ready to leave the level. That way, if we do wake up the dragon, we're not left, you know, dealing with a dragon as we wander around the level. This is a ghoul. It can paralyze us. Has high physical resistance, too, which means we're not doing a lot of damage to it. This is a shrine to, um, Borgat, a trollish god. If you uh, successfully pray there, he'll send you a troll to fight for you. Um, if you fail, he'll uh, send a troll to kill you. We don't want to do it in any event because it will um, piss off our goddess. But speaking of our goddess, we just found a priest's ring. Which means every time we gain faith, we'll gain 34% more than we should. That's pretty fucking good. I want to get to at least... Um, if we can get to 60 gold... Let's go ahead. There you go. We can learn cold resistance to the advanced level now. We'll have enough. Oops, there he is. So now it's 50% resistant to cold. Now we can't learn it to the expert level only because it would take 90 gold. It would be hard for us to find 90 gold, but on top of that, we'd have to have at least 90 health to learn expert general skills. So, son of a bitch! I forgot that was there. We saw that one earlier. I forgot that was there, too. Glad we came back down here. All right, man, let's start grabbing gold and putting it in the temple. Unknown potion. Some treasure out there under the water. We just swim out to get it, though, and we don't know how to swim. We could try, but there's a decent chance we're going to drown in the process. Let's not, let's not, for our character, let's not grab that right now. Learning swimming skill might not be a bad idea. Another cave-in detected. I think I'm going to concentrate on secret detection for a while. Protect us as best I can from pit traps and that kind of thing. Right, I forgot about him. Tabletop is an improvised shield. Our current shield is better. We're not going to swim out in this river, I don't think. Oh, that's what the lever does, though. Probably. Oh, that wasn't even there. That uh, 
shrine. Traveling cloak is an improvised breastplate. Don't need it. Let's pull that lever to lower this drawbridge. Let's go try and repair our wooden buckler. Nope. Cross the drawbridge. The rattling up here. She's a voodoo doll. Kill them. Not, nothing down here, really. Alright. Um, I think we're just about done here. I'm not going to fuck around with the water. I don't want to risk drowning. Um, before we leave, let's just make sure we didn't miss any gold, and we'll go back and get that treasure up there, too. Now, I'm probably going to leave by the tunnel. Let's go down here. Oh, here's some gold. Let's go by the tunnel. Let's drop the blood lacquer. Drop projectiles, of course. Drop the voodoo doll for a second. Why are we dropping all this? Because we're going to step on this thing. And we may find a trinket in the process. And trinkets can be up to size 3. So if it takes up all three inventory slots and we don't have enough room for it, we're going to drop it in the dragon square, which means if we want to get it, we're going to have to drop something and pick it up, which means risking waking the dragon again. So this way we only risk facing the dragon once. Cuts 94 gold, can't carry it all. 22 gems. Found a bloodstone necklace. And we got past him. Let's not press our luck. We could go down here and explore, then we got to cross him again. Fuck it. Let's go down here and decide what we want to keep. Maybe I'll keep the uh, bloodstone necklace and leave the blood lacquer behind for now. Alright, I think we're ready to leave, guys. Going to another dungeon level 6 level. Let's uh, do some shit, like... Uh, well, we didn't do this yet, damn it. <laughs> Not ready to leave yet. One treasure somewhere, where'd it come? Where's my map? Here we go. Over here. Right, let's go get it. Oh, we're already carrying gold, damn it. Wasting my time. Alright, down to here. I know, I know. Let's go down to here. Let's cast our uh, best cleanser. Light healing. Matter of fact, let's do a lot of light healings. How we doing? We are at uh, 54 health. Shouldn't have done the best cleanser yet. That was a mistake. Lost a few turns of light on the next level, but let's go through. Alright. Now I wish I had the blood lacquer. This is a bugany or a bugane. I don't know how you pronounce that word. It's an actual mythical creature. Um... When it does hit us, which it probably won't do, it only has an 11% chance of hitting us, but if it does hit us, it has a 30% chance of destroying a random object every time it hits us. But if you had the blood lacquer, don't forget, there'd be a 12% chance it wouldn't destroy the object when it hit us, if we had that particular blood lacquer. Blood lacquer comes in varying strengths. Oh, fuck. And my wooden buckler is gone. Let's equip the tortoise shell that we still have. Except we don't have it. Let's go ahead and use the uh, voodoo doll. Oh, advanced technology. Because we have advanced technology, we can find armor when we kill giant types sometimes. In this case, we found a small wooden shield, which is better than our buckler, although it's like 8% condition. <laughs> this is a scarecrow, but he's tied up. Uh, he can't get out of uh, that unless he, he has a... You can see next to his speed immobile bracket 0.27% to break. That is his chance of breaking the shackles. I realize that's not very clear, but I had no more space to display this information. So... That's how it worked. Oh, somebody's... There's a smuggler down here. And a, an aberration in the form of this Hawkman. Where the hell's that smuggler? I heard him up here. He's probably up here somewhere. No, we can use this. The crystal ball. Um, if you use this, it uses your intelligence to figure out if you, uh... If you can 
scry properly, but if you do, it gives you a complete perfect version of the map you're on. Displaying every pit trap, every booby trap, everything. No matter, no matter what your cartography skill is. Just gives you a perfect vision of it. Let's try it. We have a 29% chance of success. Nope. I think the smuggler's beyond this. He is. A narrow netted pit. Uh, it won't hurt us if we fall in. It'll just stun us for a while. Paralyze us. So here, we're stuck in this pit for 60 turns. We might even open that coffin, guys. Because this is not only a smuggler. This is Gil, a smuggler hero who will buy things at double the normal cost. Sell Let's definitely sell him what we have, the Bloodstone Necklace. So we get uh, even more money for it, 310 gold. Doing business with you. As you can see, there can be trinkets in here. 25% chance we find a uh, trinket, is that right? No, not necessarily. Could be gold, could be gems, could be a trinket. I know it's going to piss her off, but let's do it. Evil act, minus five faith points. We did find a trinket. Let's drop the projectiles, of course. Small health push-ups. We grave robbed this robe with decorative trim off whoever's buried in this thing. And we're going to sell it to this guy. No, don't do that. Yes, do that. Something? So we have 300 gold for this. I'd be happy to take that, that was worth the uh, angering of the goddess. All right, let's get out of this region for now. Remember, he's here. Left across the pit. Leveled up! Look at that! New class perk, Reverse Mutation, once per map. You may activate this perk by left-clicking it to lower a randomly chosen resistance of the monster in your square to zero. That's pretty cool. Let's take one point to get our to 90 intelligence, which enables us to learn um, expert mage skills if we get the chance. Let's put the rest in strength for now. And let's keep... Um, oh, we do have two. Because we have two spell points, let's go ahead. Oh, we can't learn this yet. Hmm. No. Let's instead learn um, sort of secret detection all the way to the expert level. 75% chance of detecting any secret doors, secret compartments, or pit traps. Oh, a trophy case could contain trinkets. This one didn't. Wooden bucklers carry it for now. Uncooked fish. You know what? Let's go ahead and eat it. With our eat it raw perk. Got one intelligence point out of that. Alright, um... You know what, let's go use our, uh... The problem with golems is they're 100% physically resistant. All the golems in the game currently have 100% physical resistance, which means you can't generally hurt them by punching them or kicking them or stabbing them or whatever. This one also has 15 magic resistance as well. Um, but um, we can hurt it with spells. We can try. Let's use our uh, Wand of Frost Breath on it. That's all we had for that. Let's go ahead and start Frost Breathing it. You looking to sell Did two damage. It resisted it. Killed it, okay. That thing's dead. There's a uh, ghoul down here, of course. I think we just lost our... Uh, we just lost our... Um, small wooden shields. Let's drop it and equip the wooden buckler instead. Which has uh, 70... F nope. Or me, ninety percent condition. Disarmed a stench cloud trap. Unknown potion. Found some gold. Burning oil trap kit. Pretty neat. You can set that, and when things step in it, it makes fire burst out all around. Let's see if this is better than our. Uh... Let's drop the uh, wooden buckler. Small wooden shield's not doing bad. Let's equip it. Give us 12 defense. <sighs> we could find a trinket in here. Let's try it. Found a witch doctor's ring. Give us 5% extra experience every time we kill a monster with a spell. We're not doing a lot of monsters killing with spells for now, so let's not bother. I like the ones we have. I'm not going to bother the wand of secret door detection either. Small wooden shields are better than the one we got. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that one. I don't think there's any more monsters in this level to wear down our equipment.
Oh, I was wrong. I hear something. It's a Burbalang. Every time they hit us, however much damage they cause us, they gain that much health. Even if it's more than the health they're allowed, you know? But it didn't hit us. It's dead. Let's shatter these clay urns as well. There's a liquid-filled urn. There's wine inside. Don't want the wine. Wine, if you drink it, will give you back spell points a certain amount. Random. But it'll also make you dizzy for a while. Where you, you know, have, have your dexterity. Where the hell's the uh, temple? There we go. How much time we got left here? In terms of, um, time on this map. We got lots of time. Let's, um... Let's gather up some stuff to sell the smuggler. I think you can still buy four things. Let's drop the stuff we're going to want to keep. Let's go ahead and use a few of these uh, charges from this thing, too, because we're only going to get back... We're going to get back two uh, charges anyways. Might as well try and use it twice. Up to two charges. All right, we'll leave it at that for now. Let's drop one more thing for now. Botron Sav. What's the most valuable stuff out here? We'll keep that unknown potion. That'll be worth 10. This one's broken. No one with that. Another unknown potion. How much is this worth? 10? Use that. How much is this worth? 16? Definitely. Alright, that's enough. Let's go sell him this. Try and leap across this. We did it! You looking to sell something? Get double value for all this stuff. Something? Pleasure doing business with you. I'd be happy to take that. I'd be happy to take pleasure doing business with you. Thank you, sir. Nice. So we've wrapped around uh, at this point. Uh, if we go to the perks, you'll see. Our new perk is Claws Level 2. So there's only um, seven perks for each race, seven perks for each class. Once you get them, then it cycles through again, and now it's better. So instead of... Our Claws used to do 0 to 1 damage if we weren't using a shield and we are using a one-handed weapon. Now they do 0 to 2 damage if we we're not using a shield and we're not using a two-handed weapon. Let's uh, let's take Strength for now because we have the space for you, you know? Probably should take Health soon so we can get um, our Traveling skill up, but I didn't yet. Disarming is expert. Secret detection is expert. Hmm. We're scavenging even higher. Find 10 extra gold every time we find gold. Could go with dodge. Every level of this gives us 15 extra defense. Could go with spell use. Get extra spell points. We're not using our spell points very much, are we? Don't technically need another um, spell space yet, so let's not do that yet. Could learn archery, and then we could... Let's do that. Let's learn archery to the basic level. Then let's read this to get to the advanced level. We're not using a missile weapon, so it doesn't help us yet, but when we do use a missile weapon now, we'll do an extra 3 damage and have an extra 35 to hit. Plus 35 to hit. Not bad. We still have another skill point, is that right? No. All right. Let's go use this, because again, it might scramble our uh, stats, our intelligence and strength, and if it does... There's a chance I'll get to test the, um... Am what I am perk. To make sure it works. Let's go try it. Or if it pulls us through to another level, all the better. Let's see what happens. Wondrous Mirror, you're transported to an alternate reality. So basically like a tunnel. We're on a new level now. Same, same dungeon level new map. I think this is our last time through. Guys, let's finish this level, and then we'll call it quits. I hear a demon out there, a lesser demon. Cooking pot. Cooking pot, normally I'd be like, that's a great thing to have. If you have a cooking pot, it basically counts as one level of cooking skill. Um... But if you have expert cooking skill, it pushes it even beyond, to like beyond expert cooking skill. We haven't been doing a lot of cooking. I'll carry it for the moment, but um, 
our eat it raw perk also means you know, cooking isn't as important to us. It's not to say it couldn't be important. Let's do this right now. Magic Arch can have many different uh, outcomes. One of them, it could drain our experience. If it's going to drain our experience, now's the time to do it. We've only got 46. No, oh, it teleported us over here. All right. Kill the lunging giant maggot. If we can catch it. <laughs> it's running for us. So is that giant centipede. Giant centipede's dead. All insects have plus 20 to hit us now. Low power scroll. This guy's got psionic powers. He casts blur, which means it's harder for us to hit him. He also casts flaming darts at us. Did six damage. He confused us. Our movement is randomized for the next 60 turns. As you can see, when they cast confusion, it doesn't have the same effect as when we cast. When we cast it, it's permanent. For us, it's, uh, I think, maybe not. Maybe I'll look. Maybe it's only a temporary. Killed the lesser demon. Just curious. Yeah, what's wrong about that? Yeah, permanently. If it, if it permanently confused us, obviously it would be game over, it would be too powerful, but if it didn't permanently confuse them, it's just not valuable enough to uh, merit casting a spell, so that's why the difference. Let's drop the cooking pot for a moment. There's two, two books he dropped. One is Who Am I? Volume 1. Let's learn that. Read it. Gain a self-awareness skill to the basic level. What is self-awareness skill? 25% um, chance to avoid effects that drain our strength, dexterity, intelligence, or max health, excluding lycanthropy. And if it fails to prevent the effect, the amount of points drained will be lowered by 25%. The other book, unfortunately, we already know. Remember this. Memory to level 1. We've already got it. Ah, no, I don't need the cooking pot. Let's leave it. Flask of Venom. We could uh, use that to become poisonous for a while. Blackberries we can't eat because of our um, carnivorous nature as a dog, man. Tinderbox, fuck. Alright. Drop the flask of venom. Pick up the tinderbox. Tinderbox will let us make fires, cooking fires, only a certain number of times. As long as we have that, we might as well pick, pick a cooking pot then. It comes worthwhile again. Oh, let's use our damn skill. First of all, this. No aberrations. These are nose for gold. No treasure. Astral Trap Kit. That will do magical damage to a monster based on the monster's intelligence. Smart monsters will take more damage but have a greater chance of dodging it, I think. I think that's how that works. I forget. In any event, we're not doing much by way of trap setting. We might have that to the basic level. I forget. Do we? Yeah, but I haven't been going out of my way to set it. It'll give us plus 30 defense against animals. Small wooden shield is better than our current. 56%. Current is 91%. A disguise. You may wear the disguise by left-clicking it. While worn, monsters cannot detect you, though it will fail if you enter any enemy's square, and for each enemy that could normally detect you by sight, sound, or automatically as a genius or automaton, there's a 1% chance it fails and is destroyed each turn. It cannot fail while unworn. It's kind of a neat, um, kind of a neat item. I don't think I'm going to use it though. We're not too afraid of the monsters we're facing right now. I don't mind them seeing us. We definitely wanted the health potion. I think we're dropping Botram Sav. This will heal uh, 33 to 45 hit points. Did you see that little nose icon next to him for a minute? He was through the wall and we could uh, still see him. Let's, let's wait till he moves away. See if it happens again. There. Even though he's in darkness and I can't see him because the wall's in the way, you see that little nose? It means I smell him. I can still smell he's there. That's my nose in, in action. This guy could drive me insane if he hits me. Let's hope he doesn't hit me.
Horn and shrines of our evil god, god of war, and anger and rage. Let's not fight fight him or or uh, pray to him. It'll piss off. Sense of V quite a bit. Got some lava up here. Ooh, an ESP spell book. Let's learn that. Look at this. Let me learn this first. This is a um a clay oven. Functions exactly the same as a cooking fire does. Except, it, unlike a cooking fire, it can't extinguish. Cooking fires have a random chance of extinguishing every turn. Very small chance. Um, this will just keep burning forever, so it's a free cooking fire on this map. Footman's Lance can't pass that up. Let's drop the shittier of the two cleavers. Take the Footman's Lance. Footman's Lance! It is a one-handed weapon. It has plus 20 to hit. does 1 to 10 damage, which is far better than minus 12 to hit 1 to 9 damage. Of course, this only requires 20 strength to use. This requires 60, but we have 60, so let's use the Footman's Lance. Elven fur armor. Hmm. This here, 15 defense. The Elven fur armor. 20 defense, so better defense. Uh, this thing can have a maximum condition of 125% because it's elven. Still, I think we're better off with our ceremonial hide armor with, of avarice. Giving us the extra gold and the uh, experience levels reduced. It'll help us level up a lot faster for a while. Elven fur armor is kind of neat, though. I think that's it, guys. I don't think there's anything else on this level. Nor do I see another way off this level. Um, let's... Let's go over here. Probably taking the stairs, even though we could. These are pentagrams, by the way, guys. We can, um... Small pentagram and a pentagram. We can do a black ritual on them, and if we're successful, it's based on our intelligence, uh, we'll get back a lot of spell points. But if we're unsuccessful, it'll make a... In the case of a small pentagram, a lesser demon will appear. In the case of uh, a pentagram, a middling demon would appear. A large pentagram would summon a greater demon to fight us. Um, so you don't want to fuck with them if you're not ready to face the consequences, but also it's an evil act. Uh, so we're not going to do it. And we don't need the spell points anyway right now. Let's... We're going to want to save at least 20. Alright, let's do this. Let's do light healing. And light healing. One more. Let's cast ESP. This will show us every single monster on the map. Um, there are none right now, I don't think. We can check the map. Yeah, there's no monsters left alive here. Every monster and NPC will show up, even if we haven't seen them. Unless they're automatons. Automatons don't have a brain, so we, they don't show up. Only 33 spell points left. Let's go ahead and cast Haste. Oh, don't have enough. Let's cast Blur. Get 15 extra defense. And let's use our best cleanser. Light is the best cleanser. And let's go down the stairs to dungeon level 7. And as you can see, with our uh, ESP, we can see there's a baboon here. These guys we can see visually. There's a smuggler here we wouldn't otherwise know. This is a mimic. Uh, if we didn't have the ESP going, it would look like an object. But because of the ESP, we know it's a mimic. Lesser demon. Let's just look on the map. Got over here a thief, uh, a satyr. A shackled wisp. How the hell you shackle a wisp? I don't know, but somebody did it. And we have another smuggler up here. Pretty cool. Alright, well, I'm going to call it right there, guys. Uh, it's been about an hour. Just shy of an hour. So I'll be back, uh, hopefully, tomorrow. I, I can't deny it, guys. My, my schedule keeps uh, filling up. I keep booking um, unexpected stuff. Uh, unexpected... Um... Interesting. I wonder why we can see what what's under him. Oh, it's because it looks like an object. That's why. Because his uh, mimic nature. Um, I keep booking um, visual effects work or having um, big auditions that are eating up a lot of my time. Or in this case, I've got a doctor's appointment today. So I, I would love to get out two videos a day, but it's getting harder and harder at the moment. Um, but I'll try and at least get one out a day. I can't guarantee it. Um, and uh, if I can get out two in a day, I will do so. This will probably be it for today, though. Likely. I've got a, like I said, I got a doctor's appointment I gotta get to soon, and I've still gotta export this and upload it. So, I will talk to you tomorrow, probably, with some other video. If, if it's not 
uh, well, it'll probably be Darkest Dungeon. I'll probably alternate Darkest Dungeon in this until such time as one or the other is done. All right. Stop recording, guys. Oh, let's do a skip first. Yeah. Quit. All right, see ya.